Hi, I'm Rob Vanstone, and today we're talking about how would rider history have unfolded if teams hadn't folded? Rough Rider fans should be forever indebted to the Montreal Alouettes, the first version, and to the Ottawa Renegades for folding, because if not, several players would not have become available via dispersal drafts, and, and those players ended up helping the Rough Riders win Grey Cups in 1989, 2007, and 2013. Let's go back to 1987. Early that year, it became known that the Rough Riders had traded Dave Ridgway, who'd been their kicker since 1982, to the Edmonton Eskimos. Edmonton quickly turned around and traded Ridgway to the Montreal Alouettes. Shortly before the 1987 regular season was to begin, the Alouettes folded and a dispersal draft was soon scheduled. In the first round of that dispersal draft, the Rough Riders chose a defensive lineman named Brett the Toaster Williams, and they quickly traded Williams to the BC Lions for a second round pick in the dispersal draft. And with those two second round selections in the dispersal draft, the Rough Riders chose Ridgeway, and they chose Dan Rasevich. Ridgeway, of course, went on to become a legendary kicker with the Rough Riders. Dan Rasevich played 13 seasons with Saskatchewan, ended up going into the Plaza of Honor. Left unclaimed in the 1987 dispersal draft was a punter named Terry Baker. He'd kicked around the league for a bit, you might say, but had been unable to find a home until he made the Alouettes roster in 1987, and then the team folded. However, the Rough Riders at the time were looking for a punter, and they quickly flew Terry Baker into Regina for an audition. However, it wasn't as simple as him walking onto the roster. The team held a three-man punting derby. Paul Hickey, Mike Lezecki, and Terry Baker. Terry Baker ended up winning the punting derby, was on the roster, and he was a rider's punter, as it turned out, for all of 1987, plus 1988, plus 1989. And his punting in the 1989 Grey Cup game against Hamilton was nothing short of spectacular. People talk about Grey Cup heroes, and they remember the Dave Ridgway kick, and they remember the Mark Guy catches, and the Jeff Fairholm touchdown, and Ray Elgard, and Ken Austin, and everything. But Terry Baker's punting in that 1989 Grey Cup was absolutely huge. Dan Rasevich played in that game. Dave Ridgway played in that game. If the Montreal Alouettes hadn't folded in 1987, three very key members of that 89 championship team wouldn't have been there. Well, let's fast forward to 2006 and the discontinuation of the Ottawa Renegades franchise and how that benefited the Rough Riders. At the time, the Rough Riders needed a legitimate number one quarterback. They had Elon Green, they had Marcus Crandall, but they didn't have that number one guy. The Ottawa Renegades, for all their woes, had a marquee quarterback. His name was, and still is, Kerry Joseph. The problem was, the Hamilton Tiger Cats had the first overall pick in the Ottawa Renegades dispersal draft. Roy Shivers, who was a Rough Riders general manager at the time, made a trade with Hamilton, got that first overall pick, and obtained the rights to Kerry Joseph. Not only that, as a seeming throw-in or afterthought at the time, the Riders acquired the negotiation list rights to a young quarterback named Darian Durant. In return, they sent to Hamilton the negotiation list rights to a young quarterback named Reggie Ball. We all know what an amazing player Darian Durant went on to become with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. So in one trade, Roy Shivers and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders obtained two quarterbacks who would go on to lead the team to Grey Cup victories. Kerry Joseph in 2007, when he was also named the CFL's most outstanding player, and Darian Durant in 2013. The Renegades' woes also benefited the Rough Riders in that Eric Tillman was available. Eric Tillman had been the Ottawa Renegades GM for their first three seasons, 2002, 2003, 2004. Well, in 2006, the Riders decided to fire General Manager Roy Shivers one August afternoon, and they needed a replacement. Eric Tillman was available. Eric Tillman is quickly hired as a Riders GM, and he made a number of astute moves to help build a Rough Rider team that won the Grey Cup in 2007. In fact, while Eric Tillman was the Ottawa Renegades general manager, he placed on their negotiation list a young quarterback from the University of North Carolina Tar Heels named Darian Durant. When the Ottawa Renegades folded, the league had a negotiation list dispersal draft. Hamilton picked up Darian Durant's rights, which were then shipped to Saskatchewan in the Kerry Joseph trade. Also worth noting is that receiver Jason Armstead, whom the Rough Riders had chosen with their own pick in the Ottawa dispersal draft, was traded to the Hamilton Tiger Cats by Eric Tillman in the summer of 2007. In that deal, the Riders received running back and kick returner Corey Holmes and a young receiver from the University of Regina Rams and Regina Thunder and Usher Unicorns named Chris Getzlaff. 
It seemed at the time that Chris Getzlaff, a fifth round draft choice by the Hamilton Tiger Cats in 2007 was a throw in. So much of the talk was about Corey Holmes return to Saskatchewan. He was a phenomenally popular player, but the acquisition of Chris Getzlaff was absolutely huge. Anyway, as it turns out, in 2007, Corey Holmes, who'd been acquired in the Jason Armstead deal, helps the Riders win the Grey Cup game. And Chris Getzlaff became a Rough Riders star, a two-time 1,000-yard receiver, a terrific player. And in 2013, when the Grey Cup game was held at Taylor Field, Chris Getzlaff caught three passes for 78 yards and was named the most outstanding Canadian in the Grey Cup game as the Riders beat Hamilton 45-23. So, if you look at it, thanks to Montreal Alouettes folding in 1987 and the Ottawa Renegades folding in 2006, the Riders were able to add crucial players who collectively helped the Rough Riders win three Grey Cups, 1989, 2007, 2013. How would history have unfolded if teams hadn't folded. I think it's also important to point out that despite the travails of other teams and despite the adversity that the league encountered, the Rough Riders did not fold. In 1987, the very same year in which the Montreal Alouettes ceased operations, the Riders held a telethon that they required to stay alive. In 1997, another life-saving telethon was held. So other teams folded, the Riders didn't. They ended up deriving so many benefits from the discontinuation of other franchises, as unfortunate as that was in many ways, and history was made three times over. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. There's also a little bell insignia. If you'd like to press that, you'll be notified when future videos, riders and otherwise, become available.